O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 18, Shopping and Taxes in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 8, Budgeting, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 8.6, Shopping in Canada. 8.11, Taxes in Canada. 8.12, Reporting your income for tax purposes. 8.13, Additional Financial Benefits In this dialogue, Sadia visits a second-hand store with her sponsor. They talk about different kinds of stores in Canada, such as second-hand stores, pharmacies, home improvement stores, and grocery stores. They also talk about income tax reports that need to be filed every year. Sadia and her sponsor are on the street in front of a second-hand store. So, how are you settling in Canada? Pretty well. Thank you for making time for me. It has been two weeks since we arrived and moved into temporary accommodation. It is good. I am glad to hear that. Soon we will help you and your family find a permanent home. Today, I want to show you this store, a second-hand store, so that you can get some items for your home. Hmm. What is sold at a second-hand store? Second-hand stores sell used items, such as clothing and other household items, at reduced prices. You can buy used clothing that others have worn before? And used household items as well? Yes. It is common for people in Canada to buy used items. It is a lot less expensive. I see. Let us go in. Do you see anything you might want? I see some household items I have been looking for. They are quite cheap, too. Yes, these are good deals. I did not know it was common to buy used items here. It is also good for the environment, too, because items get reused instead of being thrown away. Absolutely. Another way to buy second-hand items is garage sales. These are informal, outdoor events where people sell used items from their homes usually at very low prices. Garage sale? Very interesting. How can I find one? The date and location are usually advertised on signs in the neighborhood. Garage sales can be useful for buying household items. Ah, interesting. Are there any garage sales nearby we can go take a look at? Not that I know of at the moment, but we can look out for a sign. I usually look and buy items online using the internet. It is called online sales. What do you mean? Just like garage sales, people can post items that they no longer want as listings on the internet. Vendors include virtual stores and private secondhand sales, where you can buy things at a low price. It is common for people in Canada to shop online. Are there other ways to shop? Where do people go for things that are not secondhand? How about we open a map application on my smartphone? and take a look at the types of shops around town. All right. Sadia's sponsor pulls out his phone and opens a Maps application. They look at the different stores shown on the map. Do you see where we are right now on the map? Right here on this main street? Yes. Okay, the map shows we have a few different stores around us. This one here I am pointing at, this is a department store. What is a department store? A large store that sells clothing, shoes, furniture, appliances, housewares, and other non-food items. What about this shop here? This one is a drugstore. Drugstore? This is a store that has a pharmacy, where prescription medications can be purchased. Many drugstores also sell non-prescription medication, diapers, women's hygiene products, cosmetics, magazines, and food. Ah, okay. So a drugstore is where the doctor would send me to pick up medications after a medical appointment. Exactly. 
We have many of those back in my home country. Oh, what about this shop here? That is a home improvement store. They sell products to repair or maintain a home, such as tools, appliances, and sometimes furniture. And what about food? What kind of food stores are available? For food, there are supermarkets. They are the most common type of food store. Many supermarkets also sell cleaning products, cosmetics, magazines, and common non-prescription medications. I have been to a supermarket here already. Oh, good. But I could not find food or ingredients from my home country. My family is missing the taste of our food. Is there anywhere we can go for this? Yes, there are ethnic food stores. These stores are often owned by people from various cultural backgrounds who import goods from outside Canada. We have an ethnic food store in town. Great. How about we walk there together now? Maybe you can find the ingredients you are looking for. Sadia and her sponsor walk to the ethnic food store. Sadia finds some ingredients and foods from her home country. Then Sadia and her sponsor walk up to the cashier. The cashier begins checking Sadia's items. This store has some of the things I have been looking for. Vegetables and pots. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me here. No problem. Now that you know where it is on the map, you can come here anytime. That will be $30.50. Do you want a bag for this? No, thank you. Here you go. Here is your change. And receipt. Have a nice day. Excuse me. What is this on the receipt? It says here that there was a tax added to the cost of my purchase? That is the sales tax that is added to most purchases. This is the money you pay in addition to the cost of the items you buy or services you receive. There is no tax on basic food in Canada. The sales tax was calculated for the pot you bought, but not for the vegetables. Oh, I see. Thank you. Come again. I will. Sadia and her sponsor exit the store and board a public transit bus. Sadia and her sponsor ride the public bus towards Sadia's apartment. While riding on the bus, they talk about taxes. Could you please tell me more about sales tax and what it is? Absolutely. There is a tax added to things people buy here. It is called a goods and services or sales tax. But this sales tax is not added to all items, right? You said there is no tax on basic food in Canada. That is right. What is basic food? Vegetables, meat, fruit, and milk are basic food. So you do not pay tax on those. For things like packaged snacks, cigarettes, and alcohol, there is an added tax. Are taxes just for things you buy at a store and online? No, there are different types of taxes. There is property tax, which you pay when you own a home or land. If I rent a place, do I pay property tax? No, the landlord pays property tax, not the tenant. Are there other taxes? Yes, income taxes are taken by the government on income you receive from a job or as benefits. Income tax is usually deducted before you receive your payments. Once you are in Canada and have obtained a social insurance number, you must submit your income tax report including any financial support you received. Even if you lived in Canada for only part of the year, or you had no income in the year, you still need to submit a report. If you have a spouse or a common law partner, they also have to submit a separate income tax form every year. When do you have to submit this form? Between February and April of each year for the previous calendar year. Why is it good to file our income tax form on time? If you file your tax form on time, any benefits you are getting will keep coming to you without delay. But if you do not file your tax report on time, there could be delays in your benefits. That reminds me, 
As soon as you get your social insurance number, I will help you apply for benefits you may be entitled to. Failing to submit your income tax report could result in losing some benefits. That is great. Thank you. You might be able to get benefits like the Canada Child Tax Benefit, Goods and Services Tax Refund, or more. I will help you apply for these benefits. A settlement agency for newcomers can also help you fill out the right forms, attach needed documents, and give you more information on submitting your income tax report. Thanks. I am curious though, what do these taxes pay for? Where is all the money going to? Excellent question. The taxes that everyone pays in Canada go towards covering services like basic education, health care, and community services. Can you think of other services that are covered by the tax people pay in Canada? Emergency services like firefighters and police? That is right. Public parks and maintenance of roads and highways are also covered by the tax. On top of that, snow removal on roads, highways, and sidewalks is also covered by taxes. Is there a government body that is responsible for taxes? The Canada Revenue Agency is the main body responsible for tax laws in Canada. Taxes are collected by federal, provincial, and municipal governments. You can go online to read their website and create an online account if you are interested. I see. Thank you for this helpful explanation. You are welcome. End of Dialogue Unit